Today, back in solo queue, let's find out if we can finally play a hero and not be forced to tank by our solo queue teammates. And to help our chances of not tanking in this game, we're gonna pick an assassin so that our teammates won't think that they can make a tank out of this samurai lady. Alright, it looks like slot 5 is a very nice guy who was raised properly by his or her parents, so we have Franco as a tank. For the battle spell, we'll take Execute of course, for the talent, we'll take Fighter or the Emblem, and for the build, I'll just have Pura plaster it on the screen right about now, just in case we end up uploading this game. And we are off. So from what I've seen from other Benedetta players, uh, XP lane should be the best lane for her, right? I have no idea. I have 9 matches with this lady. But that is fine because I understand that Benedetta's role is to clear minion waves, cut behind the enemy towers, and make sure that we have free time to roam around and do something else. And it looks like we have a little action going on here. We have our friend Franco who's just doing Franco things and being annoying to this Fanny's blue buff. So let's help him out and see if we can end this Fanny's life. Because if Fanny's dead, then Franco can stop hooking Natalia's. All right, I think that was worth it. I'm just glad that she didn't hit me back. And now that that early party is over, it's time to go back to our main job and it's be annoying to Ruby and damage her as much as we can while we don't have minions that she can suck off HP from. And if she's being a naughty girl and still staying in the lane with less than half HP, then we have no choice but to spank her real good. Oh, where did she go? Oh, there she is lying on the ground with her cold dead body. Damn, that was, uh, that was pretty dark. Sorry about that. So I can see on the map that Balmond wants to get the turtle. I'm not sure why Franco isn't helping our jungler. And also Angela is not helping our jungler. So I guess it's up to us again. Aside from being a side laner, we are also our jungler's uh, support and tank. And I am completely fine with that as long as this big guy gives me back my job in being a side laner. And once again, we are here with Ruby in a competition of who clears the wave and uh, not my HP. That's not part of the deal. Let me get out of here. Yeah, we gotta really be careful about her ult. All we gotta remember is if we're fighting a Ruby and we're fighting her close to her tower, then we're being an idiot. But in this case, she's a little bit far from her tower, so Franco will secure our kill. So while the petite hooker is dead, let's take advantage of this tower and get some gold off it. But we have to cancel that because there's a hobbit here with a huge hammer and I really don't want to get hit by that. So let's go to the mid lane and hello Fanny. I'm just gonna go to the mid lane because I want to clear this minion wave. So we have an advantage in golden XP once we fight Ruby again at the bot lane. But it looks like we're caught in a battle now since Angela is now on top of me without my permission. I don't know how I feel about that but I guess we have to take advantage while her ultimate is still in effect. So we'll just keep dashing around until the fight is over and it looks like it is. So the turtle is up, but we have three people going after it. So I guess we have time to clear this minion wave and get a little bit more gold and XP. And now we're back to pretending we're gonna fight Ruby again, but all we're gonna do is clear this wave so that we can go someplace else. And it looks like a nice spot would be where Fanny and Franco is. But it looks like Fanny has stopped taking her blue buff. She probably switched to the red buff instead. So let's go to the bot lane and clear one more wave while Ruby is out of the way so that we can push this minion wave to her tower. So it looks like a team fight has finally taken place and we finally took down that tower. So maybe we can still make it away from the team fight because I think our teammates are dead but actually I was looking at that wrong because Balmond is still alive and well and he managed to let us secure a kill and this Fanny is uh, dead meat. 
Now that we have taken down the tower at the bot lane, I think I could stay here in the mid lane for a little bit so that we can be closer to the objectives like the turtle. But this Gushin seemed to really want to kill us. It's a good thing because he got distracted and our teammates secured me a bowl of turtle soup. Meanwhile, we have a lot of people here in the middle lane, so I guess we'll try to push. I'll just distract the enemies while you guys hit the tower. But uh, I don't think we have minions anymore, so let's get out of here. Or maybe not, since you guys still want to fight. I'll take down that tower and I'll proceed to the bot lane where I see Ruby is fighting Aldous, who seem to be having problems in securing this Ruby. So don't worry, we got our kill. You are welcome. No need to thank me. So Fanny's dead and this blue buff is alive. Let's fix that to make sure there's equality between heroes and jungle monsters. And I think I saw Gushin chasing Angela, right? Yep, I saw that right. So while we were pushing bot lane, it looks like Balmond is signaling for another objective again. It's a really good idea if only we have everyone here. But it looks like our entire team is on its way. So I think this is a really good time to start the party. And it looks like Angela decided to get on top of us again without my permission. And I'm liking it very much because we're getting a triple kill. And why should we stop at a triple kill when this Moskov is just uh, gonna give us a maniac? Wow, I wasn't expecting that, but I'm glad that it turned out how it did. So we can't push mid yet because of our lack of minions, but Balman is taking the Lord, so I think he doesn't need me for now. And he got it, so we'll just clear this wave and go somewhere else. And now that the Lord is here, let's put our ultimate down and immediately get out of here. I said get out of here. What the frick was that long stun? We almost died there and we lost the Lord. We weren't able to take down any towers, but we'll try again next time. So I'm not having a lot of success at the bot lane. What about at the top lane? Let's see if they can defend it if it's already broken. And I think this is the best time to get out of here. But Angela used her ultimate so we have no choice but to go in or else she will say that we have wasted her ult. However, it looks like our entire team is uh, royally screwed. So let's get out of here. They just got hooked. <laughs> in that uh at the base what the heck ruby you're really good with that stuff keep it up and can we uh keep this gushin away from the blue yes we can because all this is here and i really don't think that's a good idea so i'm just gonna watch you die and i'm gonna get out of here immediately i will forever cherish your memories as long as i can get out of this alive so angela i really think that you should just keep running and never look back because that knife boy looks like he's really out for you so unfortunately we didn't get to finish the game and unfortunately i dived right into a five-man team where we are gonna die to gushin all right did not expect that at all, but our teammate is gonna wipe out the enemies. Hopefully, because they already used everything on us. Oh no, don't tell me the game's gonna end without me in the picture again. I cannot accept that. Let's use everything in our power to get there as fast as we can. But it looks like our teammates are dying one by one, so... Hooray! I mean, uh, okay, let's go. Let's uh, focus and don't lose to the enemy team. So we're just gonna spam everything we can here and we're gonna kill one and get out of there because I really don't want to die again. I just got here. I have just been uh, reborn. I'm too young to die technically because I've just been resurrected. So the enemies only have their bottom lane, right? their bottom tower so if i manage to get this things should be a little more easier for our team and we finally did and it looks like our entire team is here the army is here so all we gotta do is not get hooked but dash around as much as we can and move around why can't i move what the heck was that stun all right it looks like the enemies are gonna wipe us out this is not looking good 
So unfortunately, after failing that last team fight, we are going to have to deal with the enemy's lord because they managed to take it down, but it's a good thing that our teammates were able to defend while we're dead. So all I gotta do now is take this down as fast as I can before the enemies get here and kick my butt. Now that the Lord has been taken care of, we're gonna figure out where we can team fight. There's no way of winning this game without team fighting, so before the enemy starts the team fight, we should start it. But it looks like they were in our jungle all along, so let me see what we can do about that. And here we go. The first victim is gonna be Moskov. We're gonna focus this marksman because he's low HP and he can run very fast, I can see. And he can knock us back, but we have execute. So in the end, it doesn't even matter. Just like the Linkin Park song. Am I right, guys? Haha. <laughs> this Fanny, though, is using up all her energy in chasing Franco. I'm not sure why Franco is faster than most heroes, judging by his looks. That shouldn't be the case. So after dashing all around the map, and clearing all the three lanes, uh, I guess it's time to start a fight because if we win this one fight, then we can probably win the game and end it because it's been too long. And it looks like our granted has been wishes because Moskov stunned me infinitely again until I died. What the heck is that stun? And now our teammates are left with the mess to clean up. But it looks good for them because this Balmond is still very healthy and this Fanny just recovered from a stroke. And now that our remaining allies got to the enemy base and they still have minions, all this, all you gotta do is keep punching that base so that you can finally end the game. And uh, yeah, I'm totally okay with this. Totally not in the victory selfie. Nobody cares about that. It's a lot more fun winning while uh, you're dead. So uh, everyone, that is it. We have finally played Benedetta. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did. And so far, I still have very little clue as to what I should be doing when playing her, but we got an idea. Like, she's really good in clearing waves and going from one end of the map to the other. So again, my name is Shin Mentagizo. Thank you so much for watching these uh, videos. I hope you've been enjoying checking the previous videos for other heroes that I played in the past. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.